That's Mississippi River, Tennessee, and Arkansas. Hi, I hope you have a wonderful day. This is Matt and Blair, the family. And listen, today we're high atop the coolest building in Memphis, Tennessee. You see it as soon as you cross the Mississippi River. We're at the Bass Pro Shop. Let's go check it out. Okay, so the guy came and took our pictures. That was cool. But the sun was behind us, so I don't know if it's going to work. We're kind of dark. It may not come out right. Blakely, shield your brother from the wind. So I've been into this Bass Pro Shop before, but I've never come up here to the lookout, and this is a really cool location. What I did know is there's also a bar up here. We'll check that out in just a moment. So being up here is pretty cool from a geographic perspective. We're able to say this is Memphis, this is Tennessee, there's the Mississippi River, and then there's Arkansas. And it's all laid out right there below you. The views up here are really, really spectacular. Tennessee, Mississippi River, Arkansas. Yeah, let's get that one. This is a really cool like bar up here and people are eating. This is nice, all those mechanical catfish. Another like aquarium up here. This is a beautiful, beautiful bar. It reminds me of a bar we went into at the top of the Guinness Storehouse in Dublin. Of course, the theme is different, but the idea is the same. Okay, so this is the top level of the Bass Pro Shop here in Memphis. And the coolest thing is, this is not even the largest Bass Pro Shop. The largest one is in Missouri. But let's check it out kind of in reverse. From the top, let's work our way back down. It's cool. So they're preparing the food right here as a, uh, as a crew is cooking. So there's a general store to get some fudge, bait and tackle, and there's a long line to go up to the observation deck. That was pretty cool. Uh, we could go back around here because I want to see some of this other stuff. Yeah, go through here. So the Bass Pro Shop is absolutely a destination. You come in here, you're gonna spend a lot of time in this place just looking around, shopping. It's more of a destination than a place to shop because they have so much going on in here. It's like they're coming into an aquarium for the most part because there's so many fish and other things that you can see here. So one of the really cool things to see is this tall, tall aquarium here in the back. You have a lot of bass and big fish, but the main attraction today is not the bass or the big fish. It's this giant, well, I don't know if that's an iguana or what that is. It's a lizard or some site. This is a monitor lizard. It is a rock monitor, specifically a black throated rock monitor. So that makes him the largest species of lizard in the world. Arguably about the fifth largest lizard still on the planet right now. But he's uh, just a baby. He's only two years old. He's gonna double in size. He'll be seven feet and sixty pounds. He's thirty-five right now. Wow, that is. Check out this aquarium with all these beautiful fish. There's a sturgeon, 
some catfish at the bottom, bass, largemouth striped bass. Just this is why I say the Bass Pro Shop is a destination and not just a place to go and shop. We haven't even looked at a lot of merchandise. We're just walking around looking at all the aquariums and things of that sort. So while uh, looking for the monitor lizards and looking at that aquarium, I lost my family. They're in here somewhere, but this place is massive. I'll just keep looking around. Okay, I think I found them. Okay, here y'all go. Mm -hmm. We lost y'all. No, you lost us. Did you see the Columbia Razorback stuff? Oh, let's check that out. Oh, Columbia and uh, the University of Arkansas. Now, this is cool. This is about as American as you can get. So, if I was on my way to Arkansas instead of leaving, I'd probably pick up a ride and reel, but I really don't have any space for this in the car. But wow, this selection here is phenomenal. It's always the best if you could get it from here at the Bass Pro Shop. Look at this. This is... And it just keeps going. Oh, hold on. I don't see any Stanley Cups, but check out the Yeti. You see the Yeti? Stanley Cups are all the rage, but Yeti's trying to make a comeback. This is nice. And everything is uh, in orange. It's really cool. Oh, it is a Tennessee. Oh, is that the, yeah, it is the University of Tennessee orange. Okay, that's cool. It's an old farm store in here, but really it's just a fudge shop. They sell fudge and some other delectable items. I probably shouldn't buy any, but a little bit of fudge can't hurt, right? We had some moon pies just the other day. Some fried pork skins, rinds actually. Okay. Oh, look at the fudge store is closed, but you can pick up some pre-packaged fudge. Cookies and cream, Rocky Road, peanut butter chocolate, 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 chocolate mint. Oh, this is such a cool concept. It looks like there's hot sauce here in the shape of a grenade. Come on, look at this. I love that. Dangerous clothes. Shock and all. Dead red. I'm staying away from that one. But this looks pretty cool. I love this. So I said this is like an aquarium because on the bottom level here, there's all this space where you have all these fish. And you saw the alligators. We'll take another look at those. But there are fish below us, which is really cool. You're walking on these planks with fish all up under you. Here's some of the smaller fish. But there's some much larger ones in here as well. That's a really cool side by side. Again, it's a Bass Pro Shop. They sell all this outdoor stuff. Side by sides look good. Here's the American alligators. I love this place because it's as American as it comes, right? American original Bass Pro Shop. American flags for sale. That's a nice little ATV. There's some really large sturgeon out here as well. Oh, there's one of them right there. If I can get a view of it, it's swimming away. I'm gonna try to get in close. What is a massive sturgeon, probably about six, seven feet long. But you got all these bass here, and this other type of fish. Again, there's a sturgeon coming back towards me. It's a beautiful sturgeon. I don't even know how they caught that because it's so large. It didn't grow up in here. It was brought in at that size. The boats are really cool. We went out on a couple of really cool boat rides while we were in Arkansas. I'm not really an outdoorsman like this, but guys, coming in this Bass Pro Shop is making one to become an outdoorsman. Some wild hogs here. I'm glad these are not real. Wild hogs been tearing the south up. 
and here's another restaurant wall burger so there's the upstairs restaurant there's the lodge right there you can stay in the lodge there's a restaurant up at the top it's probably food you can get through the lodge there's a restaurant here and I know there's at least one other restaurant in here but these boats are magnificent if you want outdoorsman get you one of these I don't know. I don't know if I can start with this. Like, this is top of the line stuff right here. Probably come at top of the line prices, too. Talker. Sleep talker. He's a, he talks in his sleep? Mm -hmm. he, looks he, pretty, he looks pretty quiet to me right now. So this Yeti cooler, $275. And here's a larger Yeti cooler. This one's $400. I think I'll leave these beads. That's a nice pontoon boat back here. Save you eleven thousand. Well, we Whenever you're saving eleven thousand, okay, it's a ninety-two thousand dollar boat. That's a little cheaper than I thought it would be. I thought this would cost a bit more than a hundred thousand. I figured this would be more than a hundred k. Yeah, they're knocking off eleven thousand dollars for you. Good job reading the number, Trin. That's a lot of money. It is still a lot of money. Thank you for knowing that, son. Well, my speed. If I was going to be fishing on bass boats something like this just to get me started don't think I need to start off the top of the line some a little smaller yeah the price is more reasonable here too you know no haggle 16,000 instead of the uh, 100,000 right over here on one side you have all the fish and tackle which is where I always go and this is for all the guys who do all the marine stuff like vest I don't boat like that so I don't really come on this side of the place but a lot of life vests. There are the ducks. I knew there were ducks in here, Blakely. I told you there were ducks in here. You thought I was making it up. It literally says ducks everywhere. And there are real life ducks in here. That one's actually Timothy the duck. Timothy the duck. Timothy the duck. Oh wow. Look at that sturgeon. That's a big fish. Fish don't eat the duck. Timothy the duck. Tyrone. Tyrone the sturgeon. That's a big sturgeon. They get bigger than that, but still, that one's pretty sizable. There's another duck over there. So the whole time we've been here in the U.S., Blair's been on the hunt for a Stanley Cup. Every place they're sold out. They have some really nice Yetis here, Blair. Look at that. Tennessee Orange Yeti. Tennessee Orange for a Yeti Cup. Nope. Hydro flask, you want a hydro flask? They're in stock. No one has the Stanley Cups, Blair. There's some other cups here, which is a Bass Pro Shop version. But Blair is selling for nothing less than a Stanley Cup. Here's the arcade. I've done these before, this is really cool. I don't have any coins on me. If it was card activated, I let the kids do a little bit of a, you know, shooting at the lines and the dots and stuff, but I don't have any coinage on me. But it's still pretty cool updated to a car swipe they get a lot more people no one carries change on them anymore uh, let's not start because we have too many kids I'm not paying for all of them to shoot look at how many of them it is you can literally spend hours in here just trying to see everything in the Bass Pro Shop there's an upstairs section I think there's a lot of clothes up there I don't know if I'll make it up there today I'm gonna pick up the school Bass Pro Shop shirt and this hot sauce but I don't know if I try to make it upstairs uh, because we're still like on the road, we're just traveling through. But I just wanted to stop by and film a little bit here inside the Bass Pro Shop. There's some really cool shoes here as well. I got some Crocs back there. Kind of all the things you need for outdoors. Sunglass. You want to look cool out on the water? You get your sunglasses there. Anything related to outdoorsy stuff is going to be here in the Bass Pro Shop, which is hey, that's their thing. It's pretty cool. So upstairs there's archery, Beretta. 
camping, so there's some guns up there, museum, hunting, hunting clothes, range, and waterfowl. It's pretty cool stuff, but I don't know if it's worth it for me to go up there and then come back down. I had to go stay near the family because we're getting ready to head out. I did make my way upstairs. Here's some really cool traps. You got some vermin on your place. These traps are really great to catch them. Raccoons and things, some possums and things of that sort. That's a mineral lick for your cattle or your, in this case, it would be a mineral lick for probably deer. And here's one of my favorite things, meat processing. I used to do a lot of meat processing. Uh, when we had pigs, we processed some of them and then you make your own sausage over there. There's the equipment to do that. And right next to the meat processing are gonna be your smokers and your grills. Now this is my kind of outdoor stuff right here. We start talking smokers and grills. This is where I start to get really excited. Well, look at that. That's gonna be making your pizzas. Kind of an oven for that. Some really nice grills here as well. And if you're doing your crawfish, those are your pots for your crawfish. This is Bass Pro Shop. They have it all. And then Lodge for all your cast iron. We use Lodge as well for all of our cast iron skillets. Been buying them for years. Really, it's a great value for the price and it lasts forever. I love the fact that they use this old corrugated tin up here on the second level. Just adds a lot of extra flavor to the overall design for this, uh, for this store. You have all the deer horns here over the meat processing. But this corrugated tin really makes you feel like you're back home down in the country somewhere. This is really cool. So we're here. Exiting. It's a beautiful fireplace. So look how massive that is. A big moose up there. And this is where you check in for the lodge. So we're doing this in reverse, guys. And we're heading out the front door. This has been our quick outing at the Bass Pro Shop here in Memphis, Tennessee. Hey, if you like this type of adventure, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll bring you along on our next family adventure.